Hi there, are you a network marketer looking for genuinely interested people to reach out to you via social media? I'm not talking about people who pretend to be interested just to pitch you their deal or they're just going to go around in circles and follow up with them 50 times, right? They're no good. I'm talking about somebody who wants to buy your product or join your team or both coming via your inbox and saying, I really am interested and want to know more. It doesn't matter about the social media platform you're using. It doesn't matter about the company that you're building. The rules stay the same. And I teach you the two that are very important in this very video for free. So stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. So my name is Richard Matthew. I went from 328 no's in a row, in a row, and then I've now sponsored over 700 people. So I, I know what's working in the field right now, and social media is a great way that you can turn results around or get some genuine interest heading your way. Let's dive into two ways you can do that today. Number one, what you must do is swap positions with your potential prospect. So it's no good thinking, I, 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 me, 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 what do I need to say? How can I get the sign up? How can I pitch them as quickly as possible? Which is natural and understandable. That's actually the quickest way to not turn people on as opposed to have them reach out to you. So take a look at your social media profile, be it Instagram, Facebook, it doesn't matter. If you were a follower of your account and you didn't know you, would you want to reach out to you based on what you're posting? Is it attractive? Is it interesting? Would you like, yeah, I want to work with this guy? or this girl, or I'm interested from what they're sharing. If the answer isn't a resounding yes, you need to start to ask more intelligent questions such as, well, how could I be more attractive? What are my audience looking for? What are their problems and solutions? What is their experience? What could I share that would have them relate to me? These are all great ways that you can go fishing out there and bring in the right bait in an ethical way. Because think about that example of fishing, for, for, for instance. If I can get the word out, for, for instance. If you were to go and ask any fisherman, hey, why are you fishing in this spot and why are you using that bait? What would they say? They'd say, well, this is the bait the fish like and this is the best way for me to gain these fish. They wouldn't just say, well, I had a tin of beans in the cup and I threw it out here and I was like, well, let's see what happens at the lake at the bottom of my house. They wouldn't do that. It's ineffective. So stop performing that way via social media. Second thing you can do is always look to lower resistance. It doesn't matter how much you're right if people think you're going to be an opinionated nightmare. I mean, we all know somebody on social media who are like, they speak a lot of sense, but oh my goodness, I couldn't be bothered to reach out to them. I can tell they're going to be push, 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 push. You don't want to be that person and push people away. So you may look at somebody who's overweight and be like, man, you look fat and uncomfortable. You're increasing your risk of cancer and heart disease. Hey, do you want to buy my vitamin? If you don't get a slap, they're going to be like, I don't want to work with you. You're insulting. So again, I see people on social media, network marketers, insulting jobs. Oh, you're a sucker if you have a job. That's not true, that's stupid. So many jobs are like ambulance drivers, surgeons, doctors, fire, like all the emergency services would be stuck without them. And newsflash, 99.9% .9 of the people who are ever gonna join you, they have a job. So they may not like it, their boss may suck, but are you to tell them how stupid their life choices are? is not gonna float their boat at all. They're gonna be like, I don't need to hear this. I already know this, give me the solution. So with rule number two, you wanna be focusing on solutions over, over criticism, which is what most people do on social media. We're set up via news and media to be critical and be negative. Be the opposite of that. Because social media is so much more saturated these days, you're gonna to have to play a much, much smarter game than just dropping an insult and saying, I'm looking for five people that wanna change that. That will not fly anymore, my friend. So number one, really swap places with your prospect and really take a, an audit of your account and some changes you can make. Number two, lower the resistance. Be more attractive with looking at solutions, education, entertainment, humor, attractive images, things that uplift people and offer the solutions to people. And as a bonus tip, one in every five posts you make, you can make it a little bit more specific about your business and say, hey, reach out to me here if you've been liking these recent posts. But I wouldn't do that any more than one out of five times. So again, you'll raise that resistance. So I hope you've gained something from this training. I hope it's given you some food for thought and more importantly, some practical tips to implement in your business and social media marketing today. If you would like some more training, uh, you can go to the link that's coming across your screen right now, richardmathrew.com forward slash YouTube. It's also in the top couple of lines of the description if you're too lazy to type it in, right? Um, that's a webinar. Uh, 
for free, where I'll teach you how to sponsor 30 to 50 brand new team members every single month in only 45 minutes per day. It's all about using leverage. It's all about using the online marketing system that I've got. And I'm happy to teach you that for free, as well as give you a free gift simply for your attendance. As always, go create a day in a life that counts. Always have more desires and excuses. I hope to catch you on that webcast. If not, I'll at least catch you on the next video. Bye for now.